The Rose Technics Star City 5. Let's talk about it. This set is one that has been sent to me for review, so I'm going to try to be as honest and clear about my opinions on this, but I always try to let you guys know where and how I got a set for clarity. Now, I wanted to show you guys the shell, and the shell is very tiny. Whoops, I mean, it's like easy to kind of lose, but it's a very small shell. It's almost tiny and minuscule, especially when you compare it versus the Grand Maestro. I mean, even when you compare it to the Afu uh, Magic 1, it's a, just a very small, tiny shell. Now, you notice I have a fourth IEM here, and this is the Rose Technics Quiet Sea. For me, I really like the fit of the Technics Quiet C a little bit better. Its nozzle was a little bit more interesting shape. Now, this does come with a USB-C dongle DAC, which I think for some people could be a win. If you're looking for an all-in-one solution, this could be a really good way to go. It has a nice little selection of tips, but I didn't use them because I felt I was getting a great fit and I didn't have any problem using my normal tips on this IEM. I do like how the dongle DAC matches the cable. I think this is a nice design touch. Now the cable, if you compare this to the Rose Technics Quiet C cable, they're both MMCX cables, which has some disadvantages for those that, that want to cable swap. Uh, you'll notice this cable is a little bit unwieldy and kind of hard to tame. So while the Star City 5 has a nice cable, I do think that the Rose Technics Quiet Sea's cable is a little bit more plush in hand and feels a little bit more premium. The case is outstanding. I really like it. I think it is a handsome shelled case and at this price, I think it's a good value. So let's describe the sound. The sound is impactful, fun, it is enjoyable, and it hits a lot of things right. I like this IEM, but there are problems with it. I think the fit for me is an issue because it is such a small IEM. So if you're somebody who, who likes small IEMs, who is looking for something that's bassy and small and kind of, you know, kind of engaging, this might be a good set for you. All right, let's get into some more sound comparisons in the graph section here. Okay, the Rose Technics Star City Five. Let's look at its graph. The graph is pretty nice overall. It's pretty close to the target, but you'll notice there's a little bit of channel imbalance in the base. I think there might that might be related to some other other issues of like placing it in, but I did re-record this multiple times to try to get a good reading for everybody. Um, I do think this has pretty smooth treble and pretty good extension. One of my problems right here is this this kind of peaky cat ear style treble presentation. And I do feel this pre treble presentation is a little bit high. I wouldn't quite call it shouty, but it is a little bit on that verge of being shouty. And so let's look at a few other graphs. The first one is an IEM. It's the edX or the NDX 12. This is kind of a shouty IEM. It is a little bit lean. I do think the Rose Technic Star City 5 is a better IEM. It is a little bit more money, but I think the sonic profile of it is a little bit better and I like it a great deal more. I think the NDX12, again, it's not bad. It's uh, an enjoyable little set, but it's not nearly as smooth on the, on the upper air. It's not as nearly enjoyable. The bass isn't as satisfying. So I think it's by far the better presentation uh, if you're looking at kind of a budget bassy set. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show is the Quiet C. Now the Quiet C, we showed it in the in the packaging place, but I wanted to look at the graph here. You'll notice there are some similarities. The Quiet C is a little bit more mellow. Again, it has a little bit more of a 4K peak. To me, the Star City 5 just sounds better. It has a better bass. It has just a better overall tonality. Um, but the Quiet C isn't a bad set. It's just one of those sets that like, I don't know, tonality wise, it's one of those things that just kind of, I don't know, like some of these peaks doesn't necessarily work for me, but it's one of those sets that's, that's not bad and it's packaged extremely well. Uh, a few others to look at, like the Hexa. This is a lot more fun than the Hexa. So if you're looking at something more neutral, 
I would definitely recommend getting, you know, the Hexa over this. But the Hexa is also kind of drab and boring, but it does have nice sparkly air. And I would say that the upper treble is a little bit better than on the Star City. The fit stability for me on the Hexa is a lot better. And I would find myself probably going for the Hexa more than the Star City 5. But again, it depends on what you want. The base problem of the Hexa is definitely fixed with the Rose Technics, Technics uh, Star City 5. But the truth there, Hexa does have a lot better vocals. But I mean, it kind of depends. You know, it has a little bit more energy around this 4 to 6K region as well. So it's a little bit of a trade off, to be honest. One IEM that I would recommend if you're really looking for a bass and to, to save money would be the Critical Zero 2. I, I think this is a really underrated, cheap IEM. It, it also has fit problems, but I found the fit stability of the Critical Zero 2 was a bit better. And it's just kind of a nicer set overall. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my feeling on the graph that it's, again, it's not a bad graph, but it's just not perfect. Okay, let's look at how this ranks. I think this is a solid three-star IEM. It has a lot of good things going on for it, but its tuning isn't exactly what I find myself going for all the time. But if you're looking for, say, a bassy, kind of fun, engaging set to add to your library, I think this would get my full approval. It's also not very expensive, but it has a unique fit and a few other things that might be a problem for some, and I think that's, that's something to remember. But overall, it's not a bad set. It just doesn't get to that level for me that other sets might do. And that's it's part the fit, it's part the sound, and just kind of the overall experience of it. Now, I like this IEM. The fit for me of this IEM is a little bit of a problem. But overall, I found it a fun, engaging set that doesn't that doesn't go too far off the target. And it's... It kind of hits that level. I enjoy it. I enjoy what it does. I enjoy music with it. But the problem is, is that it oftentimes will slip out of my giant audiophile ears. Like it just doesn't really work for me as much as I want it to. As far as the cable goes, I think the cable doesn't really add to that. This being MMCX makes it so that cable swapping is a little bit more of a challenge. And that's something to remember with MMCX cables. So overall, I mean... If you can get over the problems with the, that I had with the cable and the fit, I think sonically, it's a good priced IEM. It has a USB-C cable, uh, cable with it, which is an, a nice addition for some people that need it. But, you know, overall, if you don't need it, it's something that really doesn't add value at the same time. So for summary, if this is something you're looking for, like if you're looking for a fun, engaging set that doesn't break the bank, I think this is an easy way to go. I think this would be a great set to gift to people, to share with friends. I think this would give you maybe something a little that's not as lean and a little bit fun, especially sometimes maybe your ears get tired of your other sets. I think this could be a good way to go. Or for normal people who just like a little bit of bass, this also would be a really good set. So I think there's a lot of good and positive things about this IEM. It's cheap, it's unique. But again, it's not perfect and it's not exactly something that I would always want to go for, but it is fully enjoyable and it gets kind of a mild recommendation if you can get over the minor cave eats that I have with it. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You're still here. It's over. Go home. Go watch another IEM video. It's done, that's the entire video. What more do you want?